Okay, so you can see here I have a cup of coffee and a very small model of a Stirling engine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flick the Stirling engine like this, give it a little twist to get it turning, and it's going to stop because there's nothing to keep it going. And there you go, it's slowing down, slowing down and stopping. Now this is an old one, it's a bit battered, you can see the legs here aren't quite as, <laughs> as uniform as it might be. And I don't know if you can make out, I'll just sort of turn around and see this at the bottom here, a little bit bent, it's seen a bit of damage. But hopefully it'll still work. So I set it running and it stopped. But let's watch this now. All we've got here is just a perfectly normal cup of coffee. I've had a sip out of it, so it's not quite full. And I'm going to sit the Stirling engine on top of it. So the heat from the coffee is going to heat this bottom plate of the Stirling engine and create a heat differential between the bottom plate and the top plate. So in a moment, I don't think it'll work just yet, let's give it a go. I'll try and tweak it there. So, but eventually when we get enough heat differential, it's sometimes called a differential engine. No, it's not, it's not going yet, let's have, another, let's have another go. So, yeah, sometimes called, um, this is a low temperature heat differential engine. And it works because of the heat differential between the top and the bottom plates. As the air moves around inside and gets towards the bottom plate, it heats up. And then as it moves towards the top plate, um, sorry, as it goes to the bottom plate, yeah, it heats up. As it goes towards the top plate, it cools down. So the heat, the air inside, this is a, a kind of an enclosed space inside here. Um, and it, the air inside it heats up and contracts and that's what drives this little piston at the front and that drives the flywheel you've got the connecting rod there that drives the flywheel and you can see I think this time is it going to keep going I think it is yeah so it's now that's it that's going now so we've now got enough heat in this bottom plate to create a differential between the bottom plate and the top plate. So if you can see there, you can see the blue foam moving between the two. Now that foam isn't so big that it fills the entire space, it's just enough to move the air around from top to bottom. And there's another, if I turn this round, you can see there's another rod, connecting rod on the back. There you go, so this one here is moving the foam up and down. Um, so basically the foam moves the air between the top and bottom plates as it gets as the air gets more air gets close to the bottom plate it heats up as it gets close to the top plate it contracts thereby the air inside contracts and, and expands um, which moves the piston which turns the flywheel which drives the foam thing and you can see now it's going at a fair crack now I've not touched it again other than just to turn around here but you see how fast that's going now fair whizzing round now there you go now, if I take it off the coffee, you can see that's going at a nice crack, is that now? If I take it off the coffee, so we're taking the heat away, it might take a minute or two, but eventually that's going to slow down again. Because at the moment the bottom plate is warmer than top, but soon when the bottom plate uh, cools uh, to the temperature that approaching the top, you see it's slowing down. Yeah, it's slowing down already, there we go. So it was just the heat from the coffee that was driving the temperature up in the bottom plate. And you can see it's really slowing down now. And there we go, it's gonna stop very soon. Mm, that's about it there, I think. Oh, one more. One more maybe, yeah, and that's actually a lot there. Yeah, there we go, and that's it, it stopped.